Our Daily Bread A simple phrase with many implications. For some, the phrase evokes a spiritual connection. For others who have food security issues, daily bread can be quite a challenge to find. In the Pacific Northwest, we are facing a social services gap. Decreased federal funding created huge strain on large nonprofits who provide food to those in need. Outreach infrastructure simply cannot keep up with demand. And it's important to note that in Clark County alone, almost 40% of those who go without food daily are children. Since large nonprofits are at maximum strain, many small groups pick up slack to help people get their essential daily bread. In Vancouver, the One Life Food Pantry and Stone Soup Community Meal emerged in 2014 to provide outreach as well as wholesome food to our neighbors in need. They operate on minimal budgets and are working hard to provide nutritional justice for all. What we are trying to do is make a very good meal, very, you know, a good healthy meal so folks will enjoy it and come back and uh, we don't want to just just put together something just because we the idea is to make this a pleasant experience and, and, a, and a good meal you know a good tasting meal so that's that's a thing we don't have a, you know a nonprofit built in right now uh, we're hoping to get a nonprofit so until that time um, there's mostly out of our own pocket I just want people to know too there's people out there that just genuinely love people and we're not doing this to get them to do anything else we just want to give them food I have a gentleman that's a registered dietitian that just went through our cooking matters class so he's going to start up our program here again where we'll do cooking demonstrations and recipe tastings on Sundays and I was working two jobs and he was working and we still didn't have enough so I think what it did is I think it was like God was preparing me to know what it was like to be a person who was in need and to also understand never to judge a person in their situation. Our name came from because we wanted to love each person individually. We wanted to see people individually. We wanted to talk to people individually. We wanted to see what could we do to help affect one person at a time. It's like, you know, poverty is so big and sometimes, you know, as a small organization, you know, you think, wow, what can I even do? I'm only doing a little drop in the bucket. But when the Lord said to me, just focus on the individual people, it was so much more freeing because we get to know their story, we get to know who they are. People actually get to come and choose their food. So it's it's like more, it's like going to a grocery store. So there's like dignity and actually serving people, whereas sometimes in traditional food pantry, somebody goes in the back and they make a box for that person, and so they get the food that those people like. If you know someone's name, and if you um, have heard part of their life story, you're less likely to be afraid of them. And I think that's what we see uh, in each other um, when we when you see a homeless person. You know, you, you avoid eye contact. You you don't know whether they're going to hurt you, or at least that's the fear that they're going to do something or ask for something you kind of give or just have a confrontation. Yeah, my thought is that if you know their name and you know part of their life story and they know yours, um, you're going to become less afraid of each other. Majority of the people that we feed are people that have jobs. So they're working, but the jobs themselves are not enough to cover all of their rent and their utilities and all the different expenses. There's so many different reasons that people could all of a sudden find themselves being hungry. And um, I think one of the biggest misnomers I hear is that, you know, people just want to stay on food stamps forever. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. All right. That was a good job.
everybody. <laughs>